everybody now that we are done with doing the univariate analysis for the categorical variables you remember previously we did the univariate analysis for all the categorical variables and we wrote down our observations over here right so now the next thing is we need to move to the numerical variables means the variables other than the categorical variables so let's again have a look at those variables which are available in this particular data frame right so let's just have what all are the data types that we have available over here okay so you see all these data types we had now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take uh, the summary of the data types okay so value counts you can just do this and when you do this I'm sorry I just jumped to the other window so when you do this this is what you get okay so float we have 18 variables int variables are 15 and object variables are 10 object is something which we have already analyzed and categorical variables are somewhere six these are those very categorical variables are those where we did the binning right so these are the binned variables now next thing which we're going to do is we're going to select we're going to make a list of float variable numeric variables in sort we can say right so let's just call it num var okay numeric variables so in numeric variables we're gonna consider only these two variables and we will make another set of variables which would have all these three types of variables which is float int and category variables right so let's just call it numvar first and in that we're gonna say app score app score uh, this is the data frame name and then we're gonna say select data types and inside that we're gonna call include and inside that we're gonna say float 64 comma int 64 int 64 okay so this will be our numeric variables next thing which we need to do is we will create another set where we're gonna say num cat variables in this i will include categorical variables as well so what i'll do is i'll quickly copy it from here and i'm just going to put right over here okay so now we have the list of all these kind of variables num var uh, let's just see what all are the numeric variables that we got over here why is it taking too long okay sorry i just need to take the columns only and here i am taking whole data frame okay so i will just say columns and over here also i will say columns okay now if you see these are all the numeric variables if you want to have a count of this so you can simply say lem so here we go now the next thing which comes is selecting the data for these variables only these are just list of columns now we will get the list uh, data for these columns okay so how can we do that for that we're gonna say app score this is data frame name and in that we're gonna say number this is the list of columns okay so here we go number okay and let's just say head all right so here we got all the data now if you see out of it in this we have one variable which is called target variable this has the value 1 and 0 1 means defaulter 0 means non defaulter so out of this data frame we're gonna make two subset of this data let me first make a data frame which I would say num data okay so this num data will have the all data for numerical variables okay next thing which I would do is I will just take uh, I'll, I'll make two subsets of this data one subset will have only defaulters and then the other one will have non defaulters why is that so why am I going to do that because this data is imbalanced number of defaulters are quite less it is just eight percent if you want to have a look what you can do is we can you can just say uh, let's just say group by dot group by let's just wait it is going to auto complete it oops it is taking huh group by and inside that i will say target target and here let's just call size so if you see this is the uh, total number of defaulters and this is non-defaulter if you want to take a percentage of this what you're gonna do is num data dot shape and out of that just take the zeroth element and then what you get over here is 
the percentage of this thing okay so if you see this is just eight percent if you want to see exactly how it is then just do this so eight percent just eight percent is defaulter 91 percent is non-defaulter right so we're gonna make two subset one subset will have only defaulters and one will have non-defaulter so i will just say defaulters i'm going to create a data frame which would be called as defaulters and in the num data num data and over here i would say target equals to one so this will be defaulters okay this is going to give me the data for defaulters let's just have a look at top five records so yeah here we go here you would get only one in the target column okay now i'm going to make a, a subset of repairs okay here so the same thing i will use but it's just instead of one i would say zero now let's just see the head of this data all right so here we got the now you can see in this in the target variable you would have the value only zero now let's do the analysis of both of these two data sets one by one first let's just focus on defaulters okay whatever the data set we have created as defaulter if you see in that what you have over here is you see this uh, these are all the defaulter data sets so these are just eight percent of the total data sets so we're gonna just see how the variables are correlated to each other what is the intensity of correlation for each of the variables and we will find top 10 variables which are highly correlated okay so that that will help us to understand if somebody if there is a relation between you know the amount of income which a customer is getting and the amount of credit which he is getting right so we can say that uh, we will be able to make a hypothesis that this a customer who is earning this much of the amount can be given this much of the uh, th th this this much of the you know credit amount so th that will be likely to non default or default so because here we are focusing on defaulter data so let's just come uh, go through this and we will say that uh, this type of customers can turn out to be the defaulters okay now let's just try to make a correlation so for that i would say core so you see this kind of table we are getting right so let me just make a subset of this okay and here what i will do is i'll take some variables let's call it this then i would say target i'm just trying to show you a sample of it and then i will take this and then i will take this just to show you a sample of it okay let me just remove target target is not of much use you see this kind of correlation you are getting so if you observe over here so what is happening over here so you see this value is exactly the same this va this value this one is exactly the same as this value right this value is exactly the same as this value and this value is exactly the same as this value so in sort if you see this is making two triangles with same values which is not of much use so what we can do is we will try to grab any one of the triangle in this example i'll grab the upper triangle if you want you can grab the lower triangle also so when i grab the upper triangle i would eliminate remove lower and the diagonal all right so let's just go back to the jupyter notebook over here let me just find the correlation of all variables here i was just trying okay let it be as it is okay now here i will do it again defaulters dot head so here is what you have let's just find the correlation again the above one was just for sample you don't you don't necessarily need to do that okay so here we got okay so here you see target variable is not making of much use so what i'll do is while i'm creating a subset of the data i'll drop the target variable okay i'll just say drop target all right let's just see if that works oops there seem to be some problem all right so the problem over here is i just need to say access equals to one right now let me just take this and put 
with this as well right so i'm just removing the target variable that is not of much use over here because we already know this is a separate subset of each of those two variable uh, each of those two categories okay now here we don't have the target variable now the problem statement is to pick the upper triangle okay how can we do that all right so first let me just create a variable a table or maybe data frame you can say and let me just store it inside that and here is what we have now the next thing which we need to do is pick the upper triangle i'm repeating the same thing again and again pardon for that np dot once this is what we're gonna say np dot once and then here you need to provide a shape means array shape okay what uh, let, let's say you can use two by two four by three something like that so here i'm just going to give the dimension of this table itself okay so what is that going to look like here it is okay now the next thing we need to grab the upper triangle only so for that uh, you need to say np dot try try means triangle u means upper okay np dot try u then over here you need to say you need to create true and false so for up here i would say k equals to one so what it will do is for lower triangle it is putting zero and for upper triangle it is putting one right so that means upper triangle is true lower is false so now you can easily pick the upper triangle here let's say uh, here you can say as type np dot bool right so you see here the wherever you had zero those are written as false and wherever you had this uh, one those all you can see as true all right now here i can say uh, data frame name which is this defaulter dot call dot where this is what i'm going to do all right now you see here is what you got now you must be saying that we we are yet to grab the upper triangle so we just need to filter we just need to drop the na values right so this is if you have the table in this form you can't do that so for that we need to do this thing unstack you can say unstack and then you're gonna get the data in this format all right now the next thing we need to create the indexes i mean the columns so for that what you can do is you can say reset index so here is what we got now this column names are not looking good so let me just rename this okay i would say rename let's be cautious about the column names and here you're gonna say columns columns and here you just need to make a dictionary all right so in the dictionary i'm going to put the older column name and then instead of that i want to say it var one the same thing i will repeat again for the remaining variables okay so here it will be level one and then var2 so this column level one i'm renaming that as var2 next and the last one is correlation right so this is correlation okay so if you see here is what we have here is what we got now the next thing which we're gonna do over here is let's just store it in a separate data frame call that unstack and inside that i'm just going to put this and let's call it head so here is some here is a subset of that data frame now here we have one problem you see how we transform the uh, correlation matrix in this way okay now here we have one problem like you can see core has na and an written a lot okay so what we need to do is we just and this would have some negative values as well so first let's just make it absolute values means um, we are not concerned about whether the correlation is negative or positive what we want to find is top correlated variables okay so for that i am going to say call this particular function which is called abs and after that if you take the head of it all right so this is what you're gonna get i understand you must be thinking still you see nan so for that what you can do is sort values sort values and inside that you just say ascending equals to false now if you see ascending spelling lin seems to be incorrect sending and here you need to say by 
by cor let's just see now here you got that okay now what we this data is still has the nan value so we're gonna just move that remove that so you can just say subset and when you do so so in this data frame you only have sort values got an unexpected subset okay let me just fix this oh i'm sorry for this uh, here it doesn't take this subset uh, subset is something which is used in drop na okay so here we're gonna say drop na and inside that we can say subset don't get confused all right so let me just remove this if this is confusing you and let's start from here okay so you see nan value so what we're gonna do next is drop na and inside that we will say subset equals to core all right so here you are simply saying that uh, subset the core and drop the nan values out of that now let's just sort this sort values we gonna say sort values and inside that i would say by and inside that i'm going to say core this is the value and then ascending equals to false all right ascending equals to false this is what we can say and in that we're gonna pick the top 10 variables like you can see here in the defaulted segment the people who have this variable and this variable these two are highly correlated with each other then amount goods price and amount credit is also correlated highly okay so these are the top 10 variables which are highly correlated you see we did this analysis on defaulters data now the same thing we need to do on the second data sets so the second data frame which we have as repair right the same sort of thing you need to create on that data set but for that what i'll do is i'll uh, complete that okay and then i'll pause the video and complete that and then i'll show it to you okay and uh, i would say you try it yourself all right so here i just completed this thing for repairs as well right so it's exactly the same thing what i did is i just changed the data frame name right so i paused the video so that it could remain concise now here also if you see the uh, similar variables have the highest correlation though the correlation value is uh, different right so here you see days employed and days birth have the correlation value of 0 0.62 same way if you see over here in the defaulters data we have that correlation for 0.58 means these two variables has little weaker correlation for the defaulters while this is ha this has stronger correlation for repairs so in this video this is it we will keep it to this only right so here we saw how to uh, how to find the correlation for variables and pick pick up the significant one next in the next video we're gonna see uh, we're gonna visualize these uh, variables and then analyze them see you in the next